a huge blow to the Aam Aadmi Party, the Delhi High Court ruling that Arvind Kejriwal must remain in jail for now. In a big blow to the Aam Aadmi Party ahead of the general elections, the Delhi High Court today ruled that the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal will stay in jail for the time being. The court also dismissed Kejriwal's plea challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the alleged liquor scam. Aam Aadmi Party said they are taking the battle to the Supreme Court. Some significant observations were made by the Delhi High Court today. The High Court said, referring to Kejriwal's plea before his arrest, that his statement be recorded virtually. The court said, investigation cannot be as per the convenience of the accused. The court also junked arguments that the arrest was politically motivated. The High Court said, they weren't looking at the Centre versus Kejriwal matter, but at Arvind Kejriwal versus Enforcement Directorate. Different laws do not apply to the Chief Minister, the court also remarked. Adding that it had examined whether the case Duval arrest was correct under law, not its timing. The High Court also said material collected by the Enforcement Directorate shows Arvind Kejriwal allegedly demanded a bribe. Court ne ye bhi kaha hai ki evidence mila hai aur evidence jo hai money laundering aur money trail pura mila hai ye sari zikr jo hai ye sara zikr jo hai judgment mein hai. Idi wa ye Kejriwal ne kaha ki arrest galat hai. Court ne uski uski jo dalil hai uski jo bahas hai wo kharis kar di. Bole arrest legal hai. Minutes after the High Court verdict, a defiant Aam Aadmi Party reiterated their earlier allegations about a political conspiracy, while the BJP said Arvind Kejriwal has been exposed. किसी भी जगह पे अब तक ED या CBI को एक रुपए की भी गैर कानूनी recovery नहीं हुई. बार बार courts में on record ये बात आई है. आम आदमी पार्टी का अहंकार चकनाचूर हो गया है अहंकार यह था कि मुझे छूट नहीं चाहिए मुझे दूसरे को गलत साबित करना इसलिए मैंने कहा कि वह अहंकार चूर चूर हो गया है स्पष्ट रूप से कोर्ट कह रहा है कि जो साक्ष्य दिए गए उससे प्रतीत होता है कि वह नीति बनाने में बाकायदा कंस्पायर्ड एक्साइज पॉलिसी while the court has said that they have looked at the entire matter from legal point of view with just few days left for the elections there is no doubt that kejriwal's continued incarceration will have a massive blow for the aam aadmi party at this crucial time this is ashwari jain with virgil zevia thomas for ndtv in delhi well joining us now uh, to look at this and very strong observations by the high court uh, of delhi nalin kohli of the bjp jasmine shah of the aam aadmi party neeja choudhry the advocate of the supreme court kapil madan and uh, ashutosh shrivastav also with the supreme court thank you all very much for being with us uh, jasmine let me come to you first uh, before we get into the specifics of what the court has said uh, does this order of the supreme court make it incumbent on arvind kejriwal to step down as chief minister absolutely not vishnu you know bjp from the very beginning has been very clear about its ploy that all it wants is mr kejriwal out of office when manipur is burning for the last one year where women were paraded naked they will not ask the chief minister of manipur's resignation when bridge uh, bhushan singh you know he was harassing the women wrestlers of this country and they were protesting on the street they were not asking for his resignation but today they have the gumption to ask for resignation of a democratically elected leader who has done nothing there is no crime there is no not even a trial has begun not even the charge sheet against kejriwal has been filed but let me come to today's order because i am sure you are asking in the context of today's order yes of course we respectfully disagree with today's order of delhi high court uh, because it doesn't change the reality of what is this entire matter this is an entire conspiracy against aap for the last 2 years this matter is being investigated so called money laundering charges have been uh, you know being spoken about time and again but what is this case where there is not a single rupee of money recovery till date and only and only the, you know the entire basis for whatever arguments and you know uh, the court has said is based on statements of approvers and whose reality is known you know okay. some 
the major approvers are all linked to the BJP. One has given a 60 crore donation to BJP. The other has received a Lok Sabha ticket from the NDA alliance. And this was exactly how the, the Delhi High Court rejected the bail application of Sanjay Singh. Okay. But Already. what has been the Supreme Court actually overturned that. So it's we are very hopeful that eventually justice will be done. We will use our right to appeal and we will challenge this verdict okay. in the Supreme Court. It doesn't change so, anything re in reality on the ground. So the counter to that, and this is a question to Nalin Kohli, is what the Supreme Court actually, uh, the High Court actually said, and this is what the judge said. Uh, material collected by the ED reveals that Kejriwal conspired and was involved in the formulation of the excise policy and used the proceeds of crime. He is also allegedly involved in his personal capacity in the formulation of policy and demanding kickbacks and secondly in the capacity uh, of the national convener of the Ahmadmi party. Uh, isn't this, uh, you know, I mean, isn't this this allegation of the uh, of the enforcement directorate as articulated in the order, as presented in the order, particularly strong, uh, and perhaps the strongest part of what has so, happened against Kejriwal today. So, Vishnu, I'll just request for your audio to be a little louder, but um, you'll permit me to wear my legal hat yes, because, please. you know, I think at the end of the day, the legal argument will expose the political, false political argument being made by the Ahmadmi party. So, let's start at the top. Why is, are various people of the Ahmadmi party in jail? including Mr. Kejriwal, because there's a liquor policy and excise policy. Why did that liquor excise policy come? Because the government of Delhi, headed by Mr. Kejriwal and his ministers, decided the old policy is bad. And a new one is needed in the betterment of Delhi. Then when the new policy comes and the media reports that there are procedures not followed, things have happened incorrectly, people have benefited, they scrap this new policy, allegedly, which is better, bring back the old policy and they have no cogent answers why the procedure was not followed one minute i didn't disturb this one one minute was just i'll come to you jasmine i think we, we need to hold time. our horses the fact is that you brought back the old policy period now let's come back that is the case the case of the enforcement directorate or an investigative agency is that the Aam Admi party brought in a new policy to benefit certain individuals to kickbacks in return now what was the case before the high court the case before the high court is not a bail application the bail stands rejected. Mr. Kejriwal continues to be in jail. This was a challenge on the basis of Section 19. Section 19 essentially of the PMLA calls for, it gives the power to arrest based on some reasonable nexus. So now in that speech, and I must say what I followed in the media, not being in court, I'm not one of the lawyers there. But uh, in the media, one saw that the arguments in court seem to be more in the political nature and as a lawyer, I know that you can't win a case or you can't get relief from a court if you don't go on legal principles. Sure. So how can you say because there's an election, I should be out of jail? That's not an argument. And the ASG, Mr. Raju correctly said, you can commit murder and say now there's an election, I'm a candidate, I should be out there. It doesn't work like that. You have to come to court with legal principles. Now let's come to the approver. Section 303, if I recall, of the CRPC. Can I just interrupt you, Nalin, because we'll talk about the approver. In a, I'm just structuring this So discussion. let me close this argument. So let me just close this argument. I think my uh, the spokesperson, Mr. Shah, from Aam Army Party, gives a very, very good example of what is the problem. The problem is Mr. Kejriwal has never given straight answers on the questions being asked of him. You okay. get eight summons. The ninth one, you get arrested. Eight times, I am in Vipassana, I am busy, I am campaigning, I won't come this time, the summon is illegal, I don't have time. I mean, you are running away from the questions. You ask him, speak on the liquor policy, just like this, Bridge Bhushan Singh, Manipur is burning, we have done this for Mohalla clinics. How is that related to the excise okay, policy? Got it. And, 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 and we will talk jail? about the entire approval uh, angle of this in a moment. But, Jasmine, I am coming to you next with this question, peg to what actually Nalin said. The Ahmadmi Party has consistently been saying that this was politically motivated and it is linked to the timing of the election. The court said today, and I quote, the petitioner has been arrested in a money laundering case and the court has to examine his arrest and demand as uh, uh, per the law, irrespective of the timing of the elections. So that entire argument has, the, the court says is wrong. Again, how would you respond to that and what Nalin was saying? Vishnu, we respectfully disagree with this entire logic. And the reason being, it's not that Mr. Kejriwal is a special person, but the circumstances are special. We are in the midst of a national election. Aam Admi Party is a national party. For the last two years, the case has been going on. But just after the elections are uh, uh, announced, a few days after that, you put in prison the, the one of the biggest faces of opposition. 
आई मीन वॉट वुड है क्वेश्चन यू दे वर सेंग टाइम एंड अगेन की ये समंस पे नहीं आया ही रिस्पॉन्डेड फाइनली दे वॉज क्वेश्चनिंग दैट है बट आफ्टर द क्वेश्चनिंग दे पुट हिम इन जेल इन द केस ऑफ संजय सिंह there was not even a summons they showed up at his doorstep and just put him in jail so what we have been saying from the very beginning that this is nothing but a political conspiracy you want to put the entire aap behind jail and make sure that nobody is around to a uh, uh, campaign for lok sabha just imagine and we are very sure that eventually he will get relief from the supreme court but for what happens for this two months when the biggest democratic exercise is going on in the nation the circumstances cannot be done away with right so if mr modi wants to fight election where there's only one man in the race then so be it this is precisely what we are saying that this is nothing but a political conspiracy but you and see the question you, about I mean, the viewers I, 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 jasmine the, the the problem with that argument today is that you say there is a political conspiracy that's fine to argue but the high court seems to say that there is none the high court seems to say that there is something which is illegal which is taken place just one Vishnu, moment i wanted to come I to the point on, on approval just when i'll come very back to have got others and i will i mean just to short i will come back to you uh, this question is actually for kapil madan uh, mr madan the question that is being asked is uh, or the point that is being made is on approvers the aam aadmi party has consistently been saying these are people plucked out of the blue who say one thing one day and all of a sudden after being interrogated say something else and there is they they shouldn't this shouldn't be considered evidentially value however the court today said to cast aspersion on the manner of recording statements of the approver would amount to casting aspersions on the judicial process the law of approver is more than 100 years old it is not a one year old law to suggest as if it was enacted to falsely implicate the petitioner how important mr madan is this statement now vishnu vishnu you know there is a settled law on uh, approver approver is considered as an unworthy friend and the supreme court has time and again in different judgments have said that it is absolutely unsafe to convict someone on the basis of an approval statement the law mandates that there should be a corroboration over corroborative evidence in support of what the approval is saying now here you know i am not the lawyer uh, in this case but what i hear from the media is that there is no corroboration per se that's my point number 1 i will also highlight a fundamental flaw in the in this case if the order is not out but if the reports are to be believed the court has referred to section 70 of the pmla which makes an individual who is in charge of the affairs of a body corporate uh, uh, if uh, responsible if the offense is committed by the company again i would say there is a fundamental flaw here till the time the body corporate is also an uh, accused you can't make any individual vicariously liable it is also a settled law by the honorable supreme court i can name the judgment that's called amish bajaj in amish bajaj's case this was a clear case now i now i will apply this law in the facts of this case it is not ed's case that when once the ed filed the prosecution complaint they made the political party as an accused it is not their case had this been so in the first complaint itself aam aadmi party would have been an accused since aam aadmi party is not formally an accused you cannot make a person who is in charge of the party as an accused it's a settled law it's a fundamental flaw and i'm sure the supreme court will take a strict note of it and this itself is a ground to get a All right, Kapil. Now, well, well, have a second. I, I I wanted to uh, you know uh, ask Ashutosh about his view or, or yes. on that uh, interpretation. The point again for yes. the benefit of our viewers is that the uh, the argue and this is an argument of the Aam Aadmi Party is that they are not a company and therefore uh, yes. uh, Arvind Kejriwal is not the CEO of a company, right, or the boss of the company in that sense, and therefore he should yes. not be charged under PMLA. That is um, that is not the way PMLA works. How would you respond? See, see. First of all, uh, the court, the High Court, uh, has uh, uh, put this point considering the uh, Pankaj Bansal case, in which it was it has been clarified that you know, as per Section 70 of the PMLA, if there is a company here, it was a political party. So the vicarious liability of each and every director and person involved in the functioning of a company. or a political party in this case will be equally responsible so this 
particular principle has been laid down by the high court in its judgment in its order today now so far as the approver part is concerned i want to clarify to my learned friend that as per section 306 of the criminal procedure code there is a proper procedure laid down for the uh, for the appointment of approver for the confirmation of approver by the concerned special court it is the court's responsibility to confirm an approver after going through a proper process right. being followed by the judicial magistrate it is not any investigating agency or enforcement directorate who can make anybody as approver so it is the court and that is why high court clarified that it is a 100 years old law section 306 of crpc is not being made today it is an earlier times law which has been made applicable by the magistrate with proper application of mind and if this was not acceptable to mr kejriwal or the party they could have challenged that but it has not happened now here we are not talking about bail this matter which was filed before high court was basically challenging his arrest yes. considering that the arrest was not proper it was not legal so the high court after examining each and every argument raised whether it is section 70 of pmla whether it is approver's statement whether it is the timing you know timing also the high court has clarified that it is not the timing there were nine summons which were issued on different dates it is not that the arrest has taken place now the process of uh, summoning him was already followed previously but since he did not appear then the investigating agency had no other choice okay, than I to arrest that. and do the investigation sure uh, yes. nirja how does this play out politically for the aam aadmi party i think you see this has become legal versus political uh, legal all the arguments are given legal the cost, the uh, case will go on as far as politics is con- concerned and you talk to people in delhi of course there are those who are you know uh, say that isme kuch ghotala hoga likar scam mein ghotala hota hi hai people say that but large number of people who do not like this fact that he is being removed from the election scene as chief minister of delhi as a main opposition leader particularly as has been repeatedly said there's no charge sheet there's no conviction yet no money recovered so could he despite his ignoring the summons could he not have been interrogated while remaining outside jail now i find uh, uh, you know vishnu and these may be you know uh, stand alone instances but talking to people the poorer sections of course are much more sympathetic to the uh, aam aadmi party have been but i find in the middle class colonies of delhi families that had not voted ever for aap known families always voted bjp today say this time i'm going to vote for aap they are indignant about this thing that he is being removed from the political scene and put behind bars whatever be the truth of this a uh, judge of the case whether or not he was the kingpin or not so caesar's wife in politics has to be above suspicion and a fair i, I would have said uh, you know a fair for going out of the way to be appear to be fair to him even if it meant waiting two more months they could have picked him up on june 5 that's a different story okay let me just take that question to nalin um So Dalin take off your 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 lawyer hat and put on put back your hat as as a politician as a political leader the the fact that uh, irrespective of what the court may have said Nija seems to suggest that Arvind Kejriwal may end up being some sort of a political martyr there in the context views. of Delhi is that something that concerns your party No I think there are two views in a democracy that's good Nirja ji's view is what she seems to have heard from someone I can name several people including me who has heard from the same set of people that or the same class of people Nirja ji is saying that they were disgusted with uh, the Aam Aadmi party's duplicity and let's look at it Mr Kejriwal has a beautiful track record almost enviable that he has never stuck to his word mai ma sarkari makan nahi lunga you are building a, almost a palace mai gaadi nahi lunga you have a car mai delhi mein itne cheeze lagaunga cameras where are those cameras itne bussein launga nahi ho raha दिल्ली में कभी भी करप्शन नहीं होगा रिकॉर्ड करके मेरे पास आना है जेल जाएंगे सब लोग वेर इज दैट हिज टू मिनिस्टर्स आर इन जेल उनको हटा दिया गवर्नमेंट से आई विल स्टे ऑन टू पावर 
So I mean, Mr. Kejriwal is a classic case of saying one thing doesn't mean it does exactly does the exactly the opposite. That is the political situation. Now, whether the voters of Delhi like that or want to vote for the BJP or for Mr. Kejriwal, that is for the voters to decide. Who am I, you, Nirja ji, or even Jasmine for that matter from the Aam Aadmi Party, someone to say that the voters must vote like this. They will put their case before the people. Okay. We will put ours and the people will decide. But let me come to another point, which is what Jasmine was saying when he was talking about, uh, you know, Mr. Kejriwal's track record. Look, end of the day, Mr. Kejriwal and his party are entitled to believe, uh, to be a legend in their own minds. They say we are the so-called opposition that we are being forced away. Let's look at the last election, all the state elections. 99% of the seats the Aam Aadmi Party contested lost their deposit. Less than 10%. They believe they are larger than life because they are situated in Delhi. The national media is here. For every time he sneezes, the national media will cover him because he's in Delhi. But he's not even a chief minister in the real sense. The chief minister of the smallest state in India who has a real powers as a chief minister Mr. Kejriwal had a super opportunity with a huge mandate to deliver to people a beautiful city, a city with development, a city with a cleaner Yamuna and go on the promises he made. Where is all that? Ten years okay. down the line, he has to answer that except the scams that are facing him. Vishnu, I'll answer. Okay, Jasmine, go ahead. Yes. Lord of Vishnu, I think just the last few minutes by Mr. Kohli shows that this is nothing but the political hatred of BJP that informs all that is sure. happening with the AAP today. He talk about, Are Arvind Kejriwal said this uh, back and abhi ye ho gaya. So it shows that this entire case, this entire matter smacks of political vindictiveness. Mr. Kejriwal is not just the CM of a small city state or the national capital. He's the leader of a national party, Mr. Kohli. Please speak about him with respect. We don't abuse your leaders. Out in 10 years, no political party has managed to achieve what AAP has. It has become a national party. We run two state governments. There are 25 seats uh, around that we will have an impact in. And you do not want him to campaign. And that's precisely the reason why all of this has happened. You may today mock the voters, but you will hear it out in the elections. Vishnu, I want to make one remark on the approver because it is very important for your viewers to understand <clears throat> that the entire basis of this case is a few government approvers who have not only changed their statements after, you know, for months they were put in jail. They've given statements after statements, never naming Mr. Kejriwal. Finally, they break down, they want a bail and they name Mr. Kejriwal. And it turns out that three of these people, the three main approvers on the basis of who Mr. Kejriwal has been jailed, one person turns out to be a, a donor of the BJP. Okay. Now, this data has come out only one month back. He was made approver last year. So we're not questioning the law of approvers. But what happens when six months after the person is made approver, it turns out that he has given 60 crores to BJP. This was all a quid pro quo. This was all a political conspiracy. And the other person turns to be become, uh, you know, a Lok Sabha candidate from the ND alliance. So, ye kule aam tamasha ho hai. Okay, the let's get a response. Justice I think... system is being taken for a ride. And BJP has no answers to this okay. open conflicts of interest. Nalin has a response to that. Sitting chief minister in jail. Nalin, so, are the approvers hand in glove? No, in I'm coming to both the, the points. Yes. The first is the political one, then is the legal one. On the political one, I was merely pointing out to Mr. Kejriwal's track record as a national leader, as my colleague on the other side says, in the last elections where 99% of his candidates lost their deposit. So this is just the reality. Number two, I am pointing out the duplicity that is not hatred. That is showing a mirror. That what you said then, what you say are doing now, these are two polar opposites and therefore this is your word against your word. It's not even my word against your word. Now let's come to the approver. The approver part is, the, look, let's understand what is an approver. Obviously, you no, can't no, talk only about climb. Mr. Shah, I understand. Mr. Shah, I understand, Mr. Shah, I understand Baba, your discomfort. Say, I'm bringing an argument. Let it be, let the Sharad people or the viewers of the have decide. I've heard your argument. I don't agree with it. You are, you are entitled to disagree with mine. There's no problem with that. Let's now come to the approver bit. Look, the law on the approver is very simple. It's a judicial process. It's not you, me or Mr. Modi. Because for everything they name Prime Minister Modi, deciding he approver hoga. And a judicial officer, which is a judge, decides whether I will make a person an approver, yes or no. The minute a person becomes an approver from an accused he shifts from the accused box to the witness box. Now, there is corroborative evidence. The assumption of the Aam Admi Party and the fallacy on which they are building their argument or the falsehood on which they are building is, it's only the approver which is resulting in them. 
in jail. The third argument they say is nothing is found at the cash at home. With due respect, somebody commits a murder, hides the murder weapon. It may be found after three years. That does not mean the murder did not take place. And there is other evidence pointing to the accused. Recovery of the weapon is one part of it. In this case, recovery of cash and is one you know, part. This cash was spent in the election. Okay. That is the case of the... Now, now half a second. And you know, just on this point, Jasmine, and I will come back to you. You know, the court has said that in as much as you have issues or complaints about the approver, that Arvind Kejriwal will be permitted to cross-examine the witnesses, including the approvers at the appropriate stage. And the quote of the court uh, is this. Um, on the question of non-supply of documents and earlier statements of approvers, I've said that you are entitled to inspect documents at the appropriate stage of the trial. This is not that stage. So Very quick if you're answer. right about that, you, 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 you know, I mean, it goes in your favor, but that's not the stage. Whatever has Very happened so far, the court believes it is important enough for Kejriwal to remain behind bars. Just very quick response, Vishnu. This yes. was precisely, and I'm telling you with a lot of responsibility, this was precisely what the Honorable High Court said when denying bail to Mr. Sanjay Singh. What happens? He goes to Supreme Court. The, the approver at that time was a different one. He was a Dinesh Arora who gave 10 statements not implicating Mr. Sanjay Singh. The 11th statement suddenly and magically he turns against Sanjay Singh. And this was questioned in the Supreme Court. So how come one, you know, tire of the justice system does not get into uh, the validity and the credibility of approvers. And the other one says that, you know, you can rot in jail until the trial begins. And at that time, we will come to approval. So this is, there is somewhere a lack of fairness. Again, we respect the wisdom of the High Court. We vehemently disagree and we will appeal this matter. And this matter has been settled in the Supreme Court, where they've actually gone into questioning the credibility of the same approvers. Who Mr. Uh, Nalin Kohli feels is uh, gospel truth, whatever they say, irrespective of the fact that they have taken 60 crores from them and they sit in the bed with these people. Can he deny the fact that he's taken 60 crores from Sharath Reddy, who was called the kingpin <laughs> I of this haven't camp? Taken a rupee, and why my is this friend? money trail? This is an open and shut money trail. Why is there no even in investigation? I haven't this taken is a, a rupee. political conspiracy. What do you mean, Nalin Kohli? You Kohli's have taken, taken 60 crores. That's electoral bond data. You cannot deny facts. You yeah, can no, have your don't own make opinion. You. you cannot have your don't own facts. You. No, no, he says you. the BJP is what he's suggesting. <laughs> yes, I know, but so you don't. But, but will you answer I the question? I understand Jasmine is, but I have a quick response. I understand Jasmine is getting you know, agitated. It's his leader. He's entitled to. But let's come back to this for a minute. I think there's a huge difference between Mr. Sanjay Singh's case and Mr. Kejriwal. Mr. Sanjay Singh is not the chief minister of Delhi, in which two ministers and the chief minister approved a policy. Mr. Sanjay Singh's case, as I've read from the media, is very simply that he has allegedly handled the cash. But Mr. Kejriwal is the one who approves the policy finally or on whose directions the policy is made. So don't compare apples with oranges in criminal law. In fact, in law, every fact matters. So Mr. Kejriwal's case will be seen as Mr. Kejriwal's case. There are enough people who get bail. There are enough people who don't get bail. But don't run down the High Court. You are entitled to appeal to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court will hear the matter. So the LG but don't make an the assumption policy. on Why the Supreme Court and don't say we respectfully disagree when you run down the High Court. You are entitled to disagree. Okay. But don't All right. Both down. of you just wait. I'm running short on this and I do need to go back to my other panelists. Uh, you know, I mean, Nidja, would you like to add anything about on, on the question of running uh, a city which is as large as a country in terms of population? With, with this judgment having taken place, and it is not just the denial of bail, it's much more significant than that. Do you believe that on moral grounds, Arvind Kejriwal at this stage needs to step down as chief minister? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, moral grounds, whether he needs to step down legally, there doesn't seem to be any uh, provision that, you know, forces him to. Uh, the LG can dismiss the government. That is an option that the LG has and the center has, in which case he will be, he will not be there at all. Uh, morally, I don't know whether, you know, considering that the, the case, I find, you know, the timing of the case very critical. And uh, the politics of it, of course, is playing out. Other parties are now using, uh, NCP is using in Maharashtra, left is using in Kerala, these uh, pictures of Yejri behind, you know, the prison as their election tool. Right. 
really, you know, the whole thing is so mixed that I don't know how to give you an answer, straight answer, should he or should he not. It's a very difficult one, yeah, given the circumstances. Should he on moral grounds step down or not? Um, very difficult to answer that because there are two sides to this story. And one side, you know, there is a legal argument, legal facts, which are not yet come to the fore. Uh, which may may or may not implicate him, and there are the, there is the politics of it. Given the timing, given the election, which are also very uh, compelling, you know, him being removed from the scene. Could but I just want to, with Kapil, go back to the legal point because here is what the uh, High Court today said, and I quote: "Who gives tickets for contesting an election or who purchases electoral bonds is not the concern uh, of the court." Uh, and on the entire issue of timing, the court also said that it is not our business to get into the timing. If there is a case, we need to look at a case. So therefore, on the basis of what the court has actually said, do you believe that that entire argument on timing doesn't make any sense anymore? anymore? So, uh, uh, Vishnu, I would, won't comment on timing because investigating an offence is the prerogative of the agencies and they are free to take, you know, whatever coercive steps they are entitled to. Elections or no elections is insignificant, but I will rather make another point here. I would very humbly and very respectfully disagree with what the Honourable uh, uh, High Court uh, has said when the court has negated the argument on the credibility of the witnesses because in our law, you don't give any kind of promise to any individual to get uh, uh, evidence. The law of approver is a departure to this rule. The only thing you are, the only benefit that you can extend to an approver is that on his promise that he will truthfully disclose or share the evidence against other accused person, you are giving him the pardon. Nothing more, nothing less. Now the court should have examined the fact that the same person who has become an approver has donated a huge chunk of money to the central government. And, you know, if you go and, you know, inquire about why would a person, you know, donate that chunk of money, especially who himself is an accused under the, you know, PMLA and he has turned approver against other uh, 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 accused person. So this, this is a very relevant and a very material aspect sure. which raises eyebrows. That's point number one. I will make another legal Very argument. Very briefly, yeah. And, and you know, I, I heard, you know, Mr. Kohli here, he made both political and a legal argument. So I will also, you know, draw your uh, uh, viewers kind attention to the fact that when Sanjay Singh's bail was being argued in the Honorable Supreme Court, the Honorable Supreme Court argue, asked some tough questions to, uh, from the ED. ED could not answer those questions. And after that, they didn't want, since they didn't want any judgments on merits, they gave a concession that they are not opposing the bail and a poll, uh, bail may be given. Right. So I ask both a legal and a political question to Mr. Nalin Kohli, who himself is a lawyer and a BJP spokesperson. What is the criteria? What is the factor that weighed with the ED on the basis of which they have exercised this discretion? That they are not opposing Sanjay Singh's bail and they sh uh, Sanjay Singh should be granted bail. Not Why not the same test for Arvind Kejriwal? Uh, quickly, I mean, Nalin, would you like to raise that question? No, no. Why, so. why would you give a concession? It's okay. It's a first question. Because the order record I that the ED... Okay, Kapil, you've asked a valid point. Why would you give a concession? Yes, I got the question. One second, Kapil. Yeah, Nalin, quickly. I got the question. It's a fair question to ask, but I don't agree with it because every case, and Kapil himself is a lawyer, so he will understand the facts or the detail or the investigation or the trail which the investigative agency has may differ for a person to person. As I pointed out earlier, Mr. Kejriwal is the originator of the policy, is the one who's finally responsible for the policy. Sanjay Singh is not even in that government. He's a member of parliament. So he's in the party, which will be the body corporate angle. But he is not the person who is involved in the decision making. All right. Person. So you are making a distinction, and I am interrupting because I am out of time. So Sanjay Singh's case and Kejriwal's case different in a sense on the base. Right. I just small correction to what I read out earlier on on the uh, on the issue of timing of elections. I actually now have the correct version of what the court said, and the court said the petitioner has been arrested in a money laundering case, and the court has to examine his arrest and remand as per law, irrespective of the timing of elections. That's what the court had to say on the timing issue. I'd like to thank you all very much for being with us.